Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. There's a new level of fear as we have seen gold and silver start to continue to rise. And Market Watch is telling us here that gold prices have settled at the highest since 2013 as the coronavirus worries feed haven demand. So let's explore. Um, and silver's uh, taken a pretty big leap forward. In fact, silver is the winner of the day, save for rhodium, which is in a world on its own. Uh, this will be covered in a, another video, the fact that rhodium has hit over $10,000 in the ask price. But nonetheless, we're seeing some uh, pretty good gains um, in the precious metal markets. Let's explore some of the reasoning behind it here. Gold futures climbed on Thursday in this article from Market Watch, sending prices to their highest finish since April 2013 as renewed worries over the spread of the coronavirus contributed to demand for Haven investments. The April futures contract for gold, which is now the most active contract, rose $13.20 or 0.8% to settle at $1,589.20. Now, that is a big difference from what we see right here because that is the futures. Um, that was the highest finish for the most active contract since April 1st of 2013, according to FactSet data. Now, keep in mind, it has pulled back since then. Obviously, look here to 1574, but that's just gold. Silver is still up. It's kind of a strange thing ha what's happening right now with the metals. March silver also jumped 50.5 cents or 2.9 percent to $17.99 um, an ounce, telling the biggest one day point in percentage gain since September. It's since uh, pulled back a little bit too here. It's uh, now at $17.90. Chinese authorities on Thursday said that more than 7,700 people have been infected with at least 170 dead. Uh, World Health Organization officials expressed great concern over the virus's spread outside of China. The WHO is scheduled to meet Thursday to weigh if the outbreak should be declared a global emergency. Concerns over the coronavirus continue to rise as the WHO is now considering an emergency pronouncement and news headlines will continue to focus on future travel restrictions, which should continue to support gold as will the news of temporary store and factory shutdowns, said Stephen Eines, uh, chief market strategist at Axie Corp. In a note, the closure will eventually have a real and discernible negative impact on the next uh, on China production and consumption data and could impact the global scrim, given how critical Chinese factory is to the overall uh, global supply chain, he said. George Garrow, Managing Director of RBC Wealth Management, pointed out that while past epidemics such as SARS and the Zika virus all passed eventually, they did leave some economic challenges for some time. And that is the big fear. It's the economic impact that this will have, even if they can contain it in China. And as a side note, I will say that I heard an interview with uh, Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton and he was uh, discussing how, you know, China really is lying. I mean, just outright lying about the severity of this. And he thinks that all uh, flights, uh, save for very few exceptions, uh, coming into China or going out should be barred. In other words, we should stop all flights coming in to the United States from China. And really, if you think about it, that's one avenue. What about other countries? They say it's spread to parts of the Middle East. What about flights coming in from the Middle East where the, where the virus had spread there as well? But nonetheless, it is interesting, and that is the real concern, is the economic impact, even if they can contain it in China. You know, it's a scary thing. Just today, we learned that uh, for the very first time in the United States, this virus has spread from one person to another domestically. In Chicago, a husband and wife, um, uh, were in close quarters and the, and the virus spread. They've since been quarantined, but it is uh, something to uh, take seriously as we um, uh, you know think about 
the different ways it can be spread considering the long incubation period you may not even know you have it for a week and spread it to you know your closest friends and family gold held on to gains the article continues after the commerce department said that the u.s economy grew at a faster than expected 2.1 percent annualized clip in the fourth quarter economists surveyed by market watch had forecasts of 1.9 percent growth so that's good there's some economic growth and, and in fact it was even said that with this outbreak in china that means that there's probably going to be more um job and activity here for production and manufacturing here in the United States. And you know what? And you think about it, for something like this to occur that you basically get from bat soup, bats, how else could that have been spread other than, you know, some of the delicatessens in, in China? You know, we just don't have that kind of thing here, um, at least for the most part in, in America. So which is why it's a good thing that some of the manufacturing's coming back, especially with some of the trade deals and things. Commerce, by the way, will still happen between China and, and the United States. But as they get this thing um, uh, surveyed and dealt with, it's going to be quite a challenge, um, at least on their end, because most people are staying home because they don't want to spread it. And where, where will it spread? At factories, at places of work, production facilities, and the like. Another metals uh, trade, March Palladium was up plus 1.77%, rose 0.6% at 22.15 uh, an ounce, while April platinum was up 0.78%, edged up by 0.5% to $980.50 an ounce. Now, as a pure speculative play, I am bullish on platinum. Now, it may not, uh, just like silver, it could definitely stay in the doldrums for a while, um, but um, I'm I'm making some purchases this year, I think, of some platinum. We'll see where it goes, um, and uh, we'll see how it, how it plays out. And I'm kind of holding back just a little bit on gold because I'm hoping that once this uh, coronavirus blows over with better economic data, like the 2.1% annualized um, uh, clip, you know, for the GDP, if that a lot of good news there with unemployment. If that stuff continues, well, gold and silver, especially gold, may come down a bit, and that's when I'll try to make more purchases there. Now, the other thing here too, looking at the precious metal prices here, as we scope this out, my strategy for the year uh, may shift a bit. You know, as gold continues to climb. It may be out of the realm of possibility, especially if you th people think that the market may be overheated uh, uh, to some extent. Then I may dip back into some silver if the, if the ratio, if that range stays pretty high. Um, because I do want to kind of, uh, well, for the first time in a while, maybe even stack a little more silver if possible. Um, and, but not a whole lot. Most of my silver buying is mainly for collections, but... If gold gets out of the out of the out of the realm of reach, I may dip back into some silver, um, but also get fractional more fractional gold too. Definitely not giving up on gold by any stretch. Um, I'm continuing to accumulate it uh, and want to continue to accumulate it. Why? Because it is probably the safest metal out there to buy in the precious metals markets these days. Um, it is obviously the one that. Uh, uh, national banks around the world, federal, uh, central banks around the world are accumulating uh, and it's recognized the world over for being that uh, ultimate hedge against economic instability. And it's a beautiful metal, you know, and uh, you can pack a lot of value in a small amount of space. And uh, that's kind of one of the major attractive deals, uh, attractive things about accumulating gold. Um, but I have been remiss uh, for the past few years, really, in stacking silver. So we'll see how it plays out. I'm kind of keeping an agile approach. What's your thoughts about the prices if they go up a certain amount or down a certain amount? And especially with a temporary thing like this, you know, I don't know if you would consider this a black swan but event, the coronavirus, but certainly is something that's spooking the markets and continue to do so and probably will uh, at least for a while until they can get a better handle on it. The economic impact is something that um, is being realized, especially today, and is having an effect on precious metal prices. We'll see how it plays out. 
But post your thoughts below. Uh, interesting times indeed. Would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.